match, Banksy. It's time. It's time, Trav. See if you don't win, I'm going to give you a hairdryer treatment. Fling at you, it's yours. It's yours, mate. It's yours. I'll do it for the prestige, boy. Uh, do it for yourself. Listen, let's uh, let's just settle down. No matter what happens, we'll be here waiting for you when you come back. <laughs> what a main event! What a WCPW! What? Oh. No! Oh my God! No! Oh my God! <laughs> what a battle of Mata! It's the villain! Marty Skull! Marty Skull! The magnificent the villain, seven Marty Skull has cashed in the magnificent seven briefcase! This is now oh, a triple, triple threat match! Oh, oh, oh. And he fingers. lost the fingers, he's got the block, he's got the legs hooked in! This is it, centre of the ring! Will Osprey desperately pulling himself back up! Can he get there? It's all! He tap! 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 Skull's your winner! Skull's your winner of the match! As a result of a submission, and new local to pro wrestling champion, the villain, Marty Skull! After one of the greatest main events in WCPW history, Marty Skull has cashed in his newly won Magnificent Seven Briefcase, and Marty Skull holds the richest prize in WCPW. for the Kiwi Buzzsaw. At the start of tonight's broadcast, Travis Banks could not have known that he could end the penultimate episode of Loaded with the championship. Well, Mark, uh, Joe, Hendry and the rest of the Prestige telling Travis Banks that whatever happens, they will be back waiting for him after this match. If they get their way, as I said, Banks could be coming back there with that WCBW championship, but what would that mean for Hendry, who believes that that championship is his personal property, if his supposed ally, Travis Banks, comes into possession of it? Well, Hendry would, he, he'd be absolutely furious, and rightfully so, and this place just came unglued. We await the arrival of the new WCPW Champion! Here he comes! Whoa! Well, how fitting! The villain has been on fire as of late and he's greeted by some flames. Marty Skull using that Magnificent Seven briefcase to great effect at Refuse to Lose, inserting himself into the championship match between Joe Hendry and Will Ospreay. And Skull able to turn that into one of the biggest victories of his career. Well, Travis Banks has not taken his eyes off that championship belt around the waist of Marty Skull. Travis Banks he lives for winning championships. Tonight on Loaded, he could be the new WCPW champion and take this company into a new era. But as you said, Bradshaw, what would that mean for the future of the prestige? The following contest it is a singles bout set for one fall. And it will decide the Walk Culture Pro Wrestling Championship. 
Introducing first to my left, the challenger representing the prestige. Wrestling out of Auckland, New Zealand. And winning tonight at 198 pounds, he is the Kiwi Bussaw, Travis Banks. His opponent represents the Bullet Club. From Cambridge, England, winning tonight at 180 pounds, he is your current reigning and defending WCPW champion, the villain, Marty Skull! What a main event this is going to be. Uh, Skull and Banks, eyeball to eyeball, with the richest prize in WCPW, about to be decided. Bathed in the spotlight. Who will leave? with the championship. Will Marty Skrull's reign be a short one? It will, if Travis Banks has anything to do with it. Skrull said earlier he will be champion forever. Not just here at the end of WCPW. That could be what's in the future. Just a few minutes in the future if Banks gets his way. Well, Skrull's words could come back to haunt him, Bradshaw. One thing the villain has always been is cocky and very, very sure of himself. But Travis Banks is not one to take lightly. What a challenge this is for the villain to beat the Kiwi buzzsaw. We are underway. Travis Banks from Auckland, New Zealand. Marty Skrull, the champion from Cambridge, England. They are cautiously approaching this one. Skrull knows. It would be an absolute disaster if he was to lose that championship just 10 days after gaining it. Meanwhile, Banks knows this is a, an opportunity for one of the biggest moments of his career. You have to believe the rest of the prestige will be watching this match very, very closely to see if Travis Banks can get the job done. Skull with a bit of mind games there, trying to get under the skin of Travis Banks, which frankly doesn't take much. Travis Banks, a very focused individual, but he has a temper on him. Two locking fingers again. Skrull able to take down the Kiwi buzzsaw. Oh, and just manipulating the arm of Travis Banks. Skrull, again, twisting and turning. Banks trying to find a way out. Sweeps the leg in the end, that's one way to do it. Very technical start here between these two. I think there is, despite their obvious differences, and plenty of us have differences with the prestige, but there's a something of a mutual respect in terms of each other's talent, if not their character. Well, Joe Hendry, I wonder if the prestigious one is wondering how different things could have been tonight. Joe Hendry believed he was due another match, a one-on-one -on -one match, in fact, against Marty Skrull for the WCPW title, he lost that refused to lose. Instead, it's Travis Banks, his fellow member of the Prestige, who gets that opportunity. And by the way, I don't believe for a moment when Joe Hendry says, yeah, we're right behind you, we'll be here for you, Travis. Uh, do you honestly believe that Joe Hendry wants anyone other than himself to be the WCPW champion? Well, I have to admit, I'm surprised to see no fellow members of the Prestige out here supporting Travis Banks. They have had this, almost this, pack of dogs, hungry mentality since they formed here in WCPW. Well, Travis Banks on his own tonight on Loaded. Early pin attempt there, unsuccessful. We're back to both men on their feet. Side headlock applied by Travis Banks. Travis Banks so successful everywhere else. He has wrestled. He wants to bring that same success to WCPW. Yeah, he's recently become the Progress Champion. Of course, he wrestled for WWE at their Access Festival in the WrestleMania week earlier on this year. Success plenty of other places as well. And this is why you're seeing it. What an athlete Travis Banks is. Rolls him up. It's a two count. 
Oh, big shove from the champ. A shove back from Banks. Skirl trying to back Banks into the corner. The ovation we heard, by the way, for oh, going for a clean break. Will we get it from the villain? Well, it would be out of character. Let's face it. They're calling the villain for a reason. And that's why. I was about to say the ovation that Marty Skrull got at the, the top of the show here when he came out to celebrate his title win was among the loudest cheers I've ever heard at a WCPW show. This is a very popular new champion. And this is ridiculous, this live crowd lapping up these tactics of Marty Skrull. Why is it ridiculous? Because if any member of the Prestige did that, they would boo. Wait, why do you think that is? Because, because they're hypocrites, that's why. Oh, okay. Nothing to do with the way the Prestige have conducted themselves over these past few months. Now you're getting it. Skrull onto the apron, goes for the kick. Banks tries to cover up. And stamp onto the fingers as well. Or instead, rather. This man likes to break hands and fingers, doesn't he? Oh! Once a villain, always a villain. Skull having some fun with the crowd here, but he needs to keep his attention onto Travis Banks, which he now returns to. 100%. The Kiwi buzzsaw is not the kind of man you give even an inch to. He will take a mile. Oh, right to the throat. Yeah, it wasn't even in the face. You're right, it was right in the windpipe of Travis Banks. A very dangerous place to be hit, particularly with that much impact. Back into the ring they come. Banks trying to fight to his feet. Banks! Almost potentially had an arm broken there by Skrull. Oh. This won't do his arm any favours either if Skrull does what I think he's planning and driving oh. the knuckles into that space between the arm and the shoulder. Oh! Oh, oh that could be a broken arm. Easily. Boot right into the, the kidney area of Banks from Skrull. Now wrapping the arm around the rope. And this is why Skrull has been so successful throughout his career. When he gets on top, he, he, there's no give. The cover here, it's a two count. Skrull's so relentless. Not just relentless, but very targeted. He's been focusing on that left arm for a good couple of minutes now. Really, that's a very deliberate strategy from the new champion. And again, Marty Skrull going back to the hands, the fingers, the wrists of Travis Banks. But he left the legs wide open. Skrull rolls back through now. The fingers of Banks locked. Oh, hang on, now he's under the feet. Under the feet of Skrull. Oh, Skrull! Another stamp. And you know he's trying to soften up those fingers. Marty Skrull, and he goes for a cover. It's another two count. Or maybe a one count, in fact. We know Skrull likes to break the fingers of his opponent. Oh, makes me sick to my stomach every time he does it. Very awful sound to hear, no doubt about that. It's a sickening crack, but right now Marty Skrull looking to wear down his challenger. Banks knows that that's the plan here, so he's got to his feet as fast as he can, trying to counter this Japanese stranglehold, if he can. Banks gets caught back in it, with his arms over his head. His spine lands on the knees of Marty Skrull. And just like that, the WCPW champion back in control of this main event. Here's what I was talking about. Oh, Banks not having any of it. I don't think Skrull was expecting that. He was expecting to break the fingers of Travis Banks. Instead, Banks nearly broke the champ's jaw. Fans can boo, but on that occasion, you can't blame Travis Banks, who wants to have their fingers broken in that way. Oh, my God. Look at the eyes of the prestigious own Kiwi Budsaw. Genuinely terrifying is Banks. Here comes the cannonball. 
right into the champion. We could have a new champion. This really could happen, you know. Skrull countering the suplex. Bangs lands on his feet behind. Goes for the roll up. And the kick to the face of Skrull. No banks in control. What's he looking for here? Maybe the slice of heaven from Travis Banks. Skrull knew it was coming, moved out of the way. Banks rolls through, grabs the leg. Skrull trying to pull him down for the pin. Instead, Banks sits down onto Skrull. Skrull counters, goes for a pin of his own. Both men try for the covers here. Rapid fire pin attempts. And finally, both men breaking free of each other. Lots of two counts, but not a three count. This one goes on. WCPW Championship on the line in our main event of the penultimate episode of Loaded. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is getting heated. Getting very, very heated. We saw the technical wrestling early on. That is giving way to these vicious chops. Skrull will go to the ropes. Banks will follow him in with an uppercut. Prime roar from Banks. And Skrull kicks him in the front of the knee. Skrull flapping his arms. As he starts to feel the energy of this crowd support. Banks though, quick to cut off that momentum. And now Banks goes for the Kiwi oh. Crush against count. It's countered. It's countered by Skrull into a small package for two. That's how quickly Skrull can turn the tables. Oh, and then Skrull turned inside out by Travis Banks. Well, Travis Banks and Marty Skrull have been two of the standout performers on the independent wrestling scene worldwide in the past couple of years. And you're seeing exactly why here in this main event. What a main event it is. Now this could be such a huge night in the career of Travis Banks. He can't think about the prestige or Joe Hendry at this point, as strange as that is for me to say. Banks will go to the top. He's taking a while to get there. Skrull's going to catch him. Kicks him in the, in the right thigh there. Skrull has got the fingers. Wasn't going to break the fingers, instead he used them to uh, send a message to someone in the front row. Skrull though, again back to business, and that's bad news for Travis Banks, who gets superplexed. Oh, but hang on, Banks, Banks has wrapped him up. Yeah. It's a, almost, almost a pin. Here comes Skrull. Oh, get to the side of the head. The neck snapping sideways. This young New Zealander. Almost had his head taken clean off his shoulders. Skull go to the ropes, not once but twice. Big lariat. We just saw that minutes ago happen to the champion. Turn around is fair play. Travis Banks, his body turned around. He lands back first on the canvas. Skull to win it, no. It's going to take a lot to beat Travis Banks. So this man has had an, inc an incredible year. It could get even better tonight on Loaded. Yeah, but it took a lot to defeat Will Ospreay and Joe Hendry and refused to lose. Even joining that match late, he still had a lot of work to do to come out the winner in, that, in what became a triple threat match. And Marty Skrull deserves all the credit in the world for getting the job done. Absolutely, and Marty Skrull cannot look past Travis Banks. Said it before, I'll say it again. Well, Skrull looks like he's trying to line up Banks for that cross face. Chicken wing! Banks counters. Takes Skrull away by the arm. The drop kick will send the champion into the corner. Banks, double oh. foot stomp. Right in the middle of the back of Skrull. This could win it, you know, but Skrull finds a way to get out. The grimace on the face of Banks tells its own story. He believed that that was enough to get the job done and bring that WCPW title back into the ranks of the prestige. Banks will go for the slice of heaven again. Will he get it on the second time of asking? Again, Skrull had it scouted. Fingers. Oh, God. Oh, that makes me feel sick. Oh. The most awful sound in the wrestling world. Here's the chicken wing. 
Banks will counter. Banks surprises Skull. New champion, no. Skull goes behind. Chicken wing. Chicken wing again. The chicken wing again. Travis Banks is in the middle of the ring. Oh, Banks is in the middle of the ring and he taps. He taps. Skull retains. Unloaded. Here is your winner. As the result of a submission. And still. One Culture Pro Wrestling Champion, the villain, Marty Skulls! A hell of a competitive championship match in our main event on Loaded. But in the end, Marty Skull retains on his first title defense against Travis Banks. Now I'm not sure what the mood will be in the prestige in their dressing room right now. Yes! They perhaps wanted Travis Banks to win the WCPW title, but, and this is a big but, Dave Bradshaw, will Joe Hendry be happy that he may still get the chance to take that gold from Marty Skrull? Another standing ovation for Marty Skrull. We started the night with one, we end the night with one. But what's this? Skrull is asking the crowd whether he should offer a a fist here to, to Banks. Wait a minute, Banks has to think carefully about this, knowing the prestige are watching. Oh! And Banks... Uncharacteristically, it has to be said, showing respect back to Marty Skull. Nonetheless, Skull, still your champion. Join us next week for the last ever Loaded. Defiant. I am the villain. We are defiant.